from Ludlow, Psycho Sprout. A truly unique design, a three-foot fiberglass sphere that rolls along through gravity. Weighing in at 24.3 kilograms, and of course it has zero ground clearance. What's your policy going to be for this first round? Oh, to keep out of trouble, we're just defensive. There is no other robot like this one, is there? Good luck, guys. I wish you all the best. How can you be defensive with a giant Brussels sprout? Robot ears, stand by. The Psycho Sprout father and son team, Dad Chris Marston, letting 16-year-old Toby drive. Three, two, one, activate. Won't you roll away the stone? Here it comes. It's out. The steer controlled by a team that calls itself the Boy Sprouts. Now, a rolling stone gathers no moss. A rolling sprout gathers a sergeant bash. Impaled, and I wonder how on earth it's going to get out of that. Meet Psycho Sprite. Inside Psycho Sprite is a proprietary chassis with some of the components upgraded. The idea is that as this runs inside the chassis, the truck actually climbs up the inside of the wall. And as the centre of gravity is far over to one side, the whole Sprite actually rolls along. That's telling us, young Toby, one of his hobbies is to grow carnivorous plants. And he's certainly going to have to eat up some ground here to get away from Sergeant Bash. And that circular saw, and the flamethrower, and the spike. And I think Sergeant Bash is helping him along here, and I think he's helped him far enough! Stop and deactivate robot. Well, now, Toby, that was, um... Basically, you tried to reinvent the wheel. Which I'm not so sure was such a bad idea in the first place. Uh, yes, well, won't be trying that design again anyway. <laughs> Thanks very much. Psycho Sprout in third place with nine meters. Warthog now very nervous. Toby, what happened? It works now. I know. It, just at the wrong moment, it starts to work again. I think there's probably a bit of interference by the TV cameras as well. That probably didn't help. But... You can't blame the. <laughs> you cannot blame the telly for your lack of technology. Well, it's worth a try. <laughs> Toby, you want to be a botanist. Is this giant sprout your first step towards botany? I don't know about botany, but it's my first step towards genetic engineering, I reckon. <laughs> well, good luck. They're calling for you in the arena. So, are, are you ready to go? Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. And immediately, the robot ears face a sort of chicane. Too many robots, not enough entrance gates to the maze. Reality to the left, they're doing well, and four metal anorak to the right. I just wonder about this outer shell of reality. It looks to me as if it's made out of cold spaghetti. And Body Hammer is in there as well, doing its little bit. Has to avoid those deadly spikes. And has a clear run through the middle there, Body Hammer. I think this one could go all the way. Mind you, Shunt is waiting. And here's Sergeant Bash. To take on Talk of the Devil. Full Metal Anorak getting in underneath Sergeant Bash. Is that wise? Is it really wise? But he's shot past him now. And that's good manoeuvring. Body Hammer's in the way. Oh, look at that. Psycho Sprouts back in the starting grid. Strange tactics indeed. Talk of the Devil. Talk of full metal anorak. Around the edge, he's only got one more. A little bit of maze to do. And full metal anorak is at the end of the maze and through. No wonder Paul Baxter is delighted. And look at this, he's fed up with waiting. I think he's trying to help out the others, I'm not too sure. Yes, he is. He's giving Matilda a shunt up the backside. Remember what's in that backside, full metal anorak. A vicious saw. You don't want to get yourself hurt, not at this stage, with time ticking down on the rest. Cease. But it doesn't matter that it's all over, because Psycho Sprout has gone backwards. Now then, that was a fine performance. Any problems? Um, bit, of, bit of wheel spin uh, and boredom. I went and did a bit of damage with Matilda in the end. <laughs> boredom? Well, that's one way of looking at it. I can't really finish this without having a word with you. Six feet forwards and then seven feet back. Yeah, well, I got into that corner and once the sprite had decided it wasn't going to let me... You copped it, it up. So, uh, yeah, actually. 
So there we are. Well done, everybody. Set, uh, set you. Commiserations to the Psycho Sprout team, their robot vegetating on the starting line and rolling out of the competition. Everything just went against us. There just wasn't enough leeway. It didn't have a hope. That's it then. Yes, for this year. We'll be back next year.